Welcome to our media center. Hi students and welcome to the Ice and Springs Elementary School Media Center. We are so excited you have decided to stop in today and learn a little more about what we have to offer. Whether you are interested in learning more about books and computers or our reading area and game center, there is always lots to do and lots to see in our media center. Okay everyone, let's get ready to learn how we can find what we are looking for in the different areas of our media center. Within our media center, there are several areas that we will learn about today. Let's begin with one of our most abundant resources, books. Among the many, many books we have available, there are five main sections, each offering a different type of book. First, we will learn about our easy or everybody books, then move on to fiction, nonfiction, biography, and reference material sections. Pay attention as we discover what each of these sections has to offer. We'll review these again at the end and see if you can help figure out where some of these books belong. This is what is called the Everybody section. Here, books that consist primarily of picture books are kept. These books are intended for young readers, but can also be a quick, fun read for our older readers. The books here may be fictional, meaning they are made up by the author, or nonfiction, meaning they are true stories. Most often, these stories will be made up by the author. Books in the Everybody section are arranged alphabetically by the author's last name. So, let's say you're looking for a biscuit book. You will need to look in the C section because the author's last name, Capuchilli, begins with a C. So, as we find our book, there are some important things we need to pay attention to. Here we can see the call number of our book. Every book in the media center has a call number. For this particular book, the call number is E Cap. This is because the book is in the Everybody section and is written by Alyssa Satin Capuchilli. Looking for our call number is important for a few reasons. First, it helps us locate our book. It is also important that we pay attention to our call number when books are put back on the shelf. That way, it is in just the right place for the next person to be able to find it. Now, let's explore the fiction section. Books in this section contain stories that are not true. They are made up by the author. Usually, fiction books are chapter books and are used by older students. They are often longer stories and contain far fewer pictures than the books we can find in the everybody section. Books in the fiction section do share some similarities with those in the everybody section. They are arranged in alphabetical order by the author's last name and are not true or made up. In the fiction section, the call number will begin with an F or FIC. This represents the word fiction. Below this section, the first few letters of the author's last name will be displayed just like we saw with books in the Everybody section. Let's compare and see what we have learned so far. Look at these two books. Can you easily tell which is a picture book and which is a fiction book? How can you tell? If you could tell that the picture book was the more colorful book with the very few words and pictures taking up most of the page, and identify the fiction book as the one with black and white pages and mostly alt text, you are correct. Remember, both the Everybody section and Fiction section contain books that are not true, have call numbers that use the author's last name to sort them alphabetically on the shelf, but they contain very different stories in both length and age appropriateness. Let's continue on our tour by taking a look at the non-fiction section. Non-fiction books are true and are used to gather information on a particular subject. Unlike the other two categories we have looked at, nonfiction books are shelved in numerical order by subject or topic. The Dewey Decimal System is used to categorize or organize books in this section by grouping them in sets of 10. To help us easily locate nonfiction books, shelf markers are used to direct our search. 
For example, if we were looking for a book about sounds or rhymes, we would look around the end of the 300 section. 390 is for rhymes. Don't worry about knowing what each group in the nonfiction section represents. We have a media specialist and media clerk to guide you if you do not have a kid-friendly display set up. Also, don't forget to use the shelf markers. They are great hints to help get you pointed in the right direction. Now it is time for us to visit the biography section. A biography is a true story, or about someone's life, written by someone else. In this section, we will find stories about presidents and inventors, actors and athletes, and lots more people you have probably heard of. Biographies are housed within the non-fiction section, but are all grouped together based on the topic's name. For example, Henry Ford or Gerald Ford have the call name F.O.R. Close to our non-fiction section, we come to our reference section. Here, you will find encyclopedias, dictionaries, and atlases, and globes. These materials are very special and have to be used inside the media center. They are not allowed to be checked out, but are for everyone to share. Let's examine what each of these reference materials have to offer. Encyclopedias are books that span many volumes and tell us true facts and information on various subjects. The call number on an encyclopedia, like any book within the reference section, is an R or the letters R E F. Also, you will see that the encyclopedias are numbered and lettered. This information is used not only to keep the books in order, but also to help you find information that is of interest to you. For example, if you're looking for information on dogs, you would look for the volume that has the letter D printed on the spine. Next in our reference collection, we come across our dictionaries. Dictionaries come in all shapes and sizes. There are student dictionaries, pocket dictionaries, and subject-specific dictionaries. No matter which type you pick up, they all have a few things in common. First, words are arranged in alphabetical order. Also, the word you are looking up will usually be printed in bold with a definition to follow. In some dictionaries, pronunciation guides are used to help you figure out how to correctly say the word. We have several types of dictionaries in our media center. Atlases and globes are also available within our media center. These are useful in looking at different places around the world. An atlas contains a group of maps, often showing different angles or views of an area. A globe is a map that is round and spins. Spin the globe, place your finger on an area to stop the spinning, and see where you've landed. Now imagine you're taking a trip there. What do you see? You can learn a lot about another state or country simply by knowing where it is located. That completes our reference section. Now, let's review. All information found in the reference section is true, also called nonfiction. Encyclopedias, dictionaries, atlases, and globes are all found in our reference section. Reference materials are not allowed to be checked out, but are to be used within the media center. That completes our tour of the book sections. We have looked at everybody books, fiction books, nonfiction books, biographies, and reference materials. But wait, that's not all we have in our media center. Let's take a look at some of the other resources we have right here at Ison Springs Elementary. Our media center also has computer workstations available for student use. Whether you are taking an accelerated reader test, looking up a book to check out using our OPAC system, or creating a project for class, this area is always lots of fun for students. Once you have selected your book or completed your assignment, there are a few comfy reading areas through the media center that you'll be able to use. Tables, bean bags, and colorful rugs are all places you can spend some free time reading. Also, we have some neat games in our game center. Be sure to check those out too. Speaking of checking things out, we don't want to forget to visit the circulation desk to check out our book. To do this, you'll need to scan your ID card, scan your book, then scan the barcode on the desk. Don't worry if you don't remember this order the first few times. There are directions listed on the desk, and the library media specialist or media clerk are always available to help you in any of these areas. 
Once you have finished reading your book, you will need to return it to the media center for it to be checked back in and placed back on our shelves for other students to find. To do this, you simply place your book on the front desk near the book drop. We have now completed our tour of the Ice and Springs Elementary Media Center. Let's see if you can use what we have just learned to help answer a few questions. In which section would we find a book that is not true, also called fiction, that contains mostly pictures and very few words or text? If you said the everybody section, you're correct. Let's try another one. What is the name of the special section located within the nonfiction or true section that contains stories of people's lives? If you said the biography section, you're correct. Finally, once you have found a book you would like to read, what must you do to take it out of the media center with you? If you said check it out, you're correct. We hope you've enjoyed your visit to the Ice and Springs Elementary School Media Center. Please come back anytime.